Hi, for this video, I want to show you how to find the volume of a cone. So the volume of a cone is found by volume equals one third pi r squared h. So if they give you the diameter, uh, remember that the relationship between the diameter and the radius is that the diameter equals two times the radius. So if you're finding the radius, you would do one half of the diameter. The example that I'm going over gives us the radius, so you don't have to use this formula, but I just wanted to make sure that you are aware that if it gives you all the way across the diameter, that you do have to find half of it. So for example, in this one, since the radius is 3.5, the diameter would have been seven inches. All right, so all you have to do is simplify, like plug in our values. We use pi and be careful with um, how they ask you to find the answer because sometimes they're going to say, leave it as an exact answer. Sometimes they will say approximate using 3.14 for pi, and sometimes it will say approximate, and they may want you to use the calculator um, stored value for pi. So just be careful about reading your directions. Uh, my radius is 3.5, and then I would square that value, and then I would multiply it by six. Okay, um, so if you're doing this by hand, you can always go through and simplify. So uh, one third and six, that becomes two. 3.5 squared gives us 12.25. And if we double that, we end up with 24.5 pi. And remember, because it is volume, we would have inches cubed. So this would be our answer for the volume. Okay, um, this is what is known as the exact answer. So if they ask for an exact answer, you leave it in terms of pi. Since pi is irrational, you can't get an exact measurement that is not in terms of pi. Um, if you want an approximate value where you use the pi button in your calculator, so if you're using pi, you could just go through and plug this into your calculator. And when you use the pi button on your calculator, depending upon your calculator, it can be in various places, but any scientific calculator will have pi programmed into it. And normally they program it to about 13 floating points, um, which is why you get a different answer. So this ends up being approximately 76.97 inches cubed. So if you use the pi button, you get 76.97. And then, if you go through and instead of using the pi button, you replace pi with the approximate 3.14 and you plug it into your calculator, you get approximately 76.93 inches cubed. So if you are working in an online platform where you have to enter in your values and you keep getting it wrong, it might be because they want you to either use the 3.14 or the pi. So always check for that. So it's possible that you have the correct answer, but when you rounded it, it rounded differently depending upon which one you used. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.